Hi everyone, I'm Hannah and this is Felix and we've got Baloo here, so the whole crew is joining us today and together we're Real Yoga. So today's practice is yoga for the home office. So if your home office day looks like mine, you're probably already in your sweatpants or your yoga pants or something that doesn't require buttons awesome for you. Um, if you're not, then go grab your stretchy pants and I'll meet you on the mat. All right, everyone, we're going to begin standing at the top of your mat. And whatever I'm about to do, it's probably going to scare the poop out of Felix. Yep. He's a nervy fellow. <laughs> anyway, so take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart and take a micro bend in your knees. Now he's up in the kitchen having a drink. I'm really hoping that my micro microphone is picking that up. Okay, so bend your knees. You're in a wide-legged stance here. And we're going to start with a very, very ancient, traditional yoga pose called Kawash Blow Up Thing Asana, right? So the best way to do this is not on the internet for all to see. So luckily you're in your home, but even still, close down your eyes so that it doesn't matter what happens. And then from here, channel your inner car wash blow up yellow thing with Bart Simpson hair and start to just move freely <laughs> up and down and around. There are zero rules involved in this movement. My eyes are closed as well, so I can't see what I'm doing. Hopefully you're not looking at what I'm doing. <laughs> Go backwards and forwards and side to side. Maybe you take a little back bend. Maybe you take forward fold. Get your arms involved. That's my car wash man noise. <laughs> Just keep moving your body just any way that feels good and wonderful to you. Ah, don't forget to bring your breath. Keep breathing, I just knock the plant. Proof that my eyes are not open and I'm really just going with it. <laughs> All right, everyone, take one more deep breath in. And then as you exhale, come to stillness. Ah, okay, that was fun, that's been done now, that's on the internet. So, <laughs> come to re bring your feet together now, really together. Lift up your toes, spread them wide and set them back down on the mat. And then take your right foot, lift the heel, and swing your right leg behind you so that the outsides of your feet come together. So they don't have to be super close together or they don't have to be in line, that's kind of, almost anatomy, anatomically impossible. So just swing your right leg behind you. Cool. On a deep inhale breath, reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Right hand grabs your left wrist. Take another inhale, really stretch through your waist, through your ribs, and exhale over to the right hand side. Stick your left hips out behind you or to the side of you. Beautiful. Keep breathing deep, finding all this space through your left side, buddy. Exhale, bump your hips out a little more, reach your arm over, 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 and then inhale to come back to center, reach your fingertips up, and exhale, come back to your standing with your toes together. All right, again, lift your right toes this time, spread them wide, set them back down, and then take your left foot and swing it behind your right leg so that you're in this little crossy leggy thing. Beautiful. All right, again, inhale, reach your arms up high. This time, left hand grabs right wrist. Take another deep inhale breath, deep stretch. Pull your fingers up to the sky. And as you exhale, lean to your left. Beautiful. Bump your right hips out to the right and keep reaching and stretching with that top arm. Inhale, can you rotate your chest a little bit closer to the sky? And exhale, can you lean a little deeper? Keep your belly strong here. Nice, use that abdomen to support the movement. Beautiful, and then on your inhale, come all the way back up, reach your fingertips up, and exhale to send the hands down, unravel your legs. Nice, okay. Next, 
thing. So already we're feeling nice and stretchy, hopefully. We're going to move our legs into a wide-legged position. So I just walked my legs open. You can star jump your legs open, whatever works for you today. Make sure that your toes are facing forward and the outside edges of your feet line up with the outside edges of your mat. Now press down into your feet and lift up through the inner, arch, inner arches of your feet and the inner thighs is what the word I'm trying to get at. <laughs> All right, take your hands behind you and interlace your fingers behind your back. Rotate your shoulders back. Inhale to lift your chest up high. As you exhale, think about sticking your butt back behind you and start to come forward into a fold. As your head goes down to the mat, send your fingertips up to the sky. And don't worry if your shape doesn't look like mine. I hung out with the cool kids up here for a very, very long time. So there's no problem in that. You're still getting just as much stretch as everybody else, maybe some more. Bring more weight into your toes. Beautiful, deep, full breaths here. Keep reaching back with your arms. Keep drawing the crown of your head down to the mat. Nice, another full breath in. And then exhale, try not to slingshot your arms and release your hands down to the mat. If your fingertips don't make it, it's no problem to bend your knees. And then we're gonna walk the hands forward. So we come into a wide-legged sort of downward dog pose. So you can take a micro bend in your knees here to roll your butt up to the sky and then melt your chest down between your arms. Beautiful, stay strong in the feet. So keep pressing the feet down to the mat and think about rolling your sit bones up to the sky. On your inhale breath, walk your hands back into center. Again, if your fingertips don't touch the mat, bend your knees. And actually everyone, let's bend our knees here and just start to get a little bit of movement in your forward fold. So you can bend from side to side, you can walk your hands around your mat, or you can go hands free. <laughs> I'm doing all kinds of fun stuff for the internet today, woo! <laughs> but I think when you're working at home and you're stuck in, like I said, a chair that's maybe not so great for your back, I think it's just nice to find organic, free-flowing movement that works for you. To so bend your knees, twist and turn through your hips, shake out your head, do whatever feels good and then slowly bring yourself back to center. Take your hands to your waist. Inhale, come up halfway, find a really long spine, roll your shoulders back, draw your elbows back, and on an exhale breath, send yourself all the way back up to standing. Beautiful. We're gonna hop our feet back together at the top of the mat, or the middle of the mat. Nice. Okay, from here we're gonna come into a hip stretch, but it's also a balance. But I don't want you to worry about balancing because balance is all about lots and lots of concentration and looking at your screen for endless hours is enough concentration for your brain. So if you know that you're not a good balancer, then grab your friend the wall or an obedient pet that will stay put so you can not worry about the balance and just worry about the hip stretch. So grab those things if your kids are at home too. They also are kind of good balance sized. <laughs> All right, and once again, we'll bring our feet together, lift your toes, spread them wide, and then send them back down so that your feet are a really big base, as big as they're gonna be for you. Start to shift the weight into your left foot as you lift your right heel off the mat, and then squeeze your knee in towards your chest, catch it at the top, and hug your knee in. Try not to collapse here. Instead, find length in the spine, lengthen through the crown of your head. And from here, flex your foot a lot. All right, we're gonna cross the right ankle. I need that wall. <laughs> cross the right ankle over your left thigh and start to bend through your left knee. That right foot remains really, really flexed and we're pressing our right knee down towards the earth. So you'll start to get a deep stretch in your right butt, <laughs> for lack of a better word. All right, if you're holding on to something, 
keep with that and so that you can kind of adjust how bendy your left leg is. The more you bend, the more stretch you're gonna get in your glute. If you're balancing today, then bring your hands together in front of your heart and maybe you sink a little bit deeper. If toe balance or some sort of cool, crazy arm balance is in your practice, go ahead and go for that now. Nice, keep sinking so you can get that deep stretch. Remember, we're not worrying about balancing if we don't have to. And then on an inhale, start to straighten through your left leg, squeeze your right knee into your chest, squeeze, and then set your foot back down to the mat. Beautiful. All right, readjust your feet so you've got a really big right foot and then lift your left heel so you can start to feel the adjustment of weight into your right leg. Grab your balancing props, whatever they are, and then start to lift your left knee into your chest and hug it in. Beautiful, squeeze it in, stand up nice and tall, and then flex your left foot strongly, and we're gonna cross that left ankle over the right thigh and start to sink in to our imaginary little chair. So bending through the right knee, flexing that left foot strongly. This is super important to keep your knee safe so we don't want any weird sensations in that knee. And then press the knee down towards the mat. Maybe you sink a little bit deeper. If you're balancing, your hands can come together in front of your heart. Maybe you sink a little deeper. Again, optional toe balance or a flying pigeon or whatever you wanna do. Maybe you're into that, cool. Maybe sink a little deeper, get a little bit more stretch in that hip. Keep flexing your foot and pressing your right, left knee away from you energetically. Nice, smile. Cool, and then press into your right foot as you start to straighten through that right leg. Hug the left knee into your chest, squeeze it in. And then exhale to release. All right, we're gonna walk now to the back edge of the mat. Take your feet hip distance apart here. Blue's anticipating something, a belly rub maybe. <laughs> and then on an inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the sky, you can look up. And then exhale, bend your elbows, bend your knees, and start to lay your belly on top of your thighs. So now we're in a forward fold. Shake out your head, a little yes, a little no. Again, don't worry about coming into any crazy shapes here. We're just releasing as much as we can. And then inhale to look forward and start to walk your hands forward and come into a downward facing dog. So our hips go really high. Our knees can stay bent if they need to be to ensure that your spine is super, super long. Beautiful. Full breath in here. Exhale, draw your belly in, draw your lower ribs in. Melt your heart down and roll your sit bones up. Nice, one more full breath in here. And then exhale to slowly lower your knees down to the mat. And we're gonna come all the way down onto our bellies. Hi, Belly. <laughs> He's looking at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so we're on our belly. Come to the tops of the feet and send your feet back as far as they want to go, as far as they can go, and press your pelvic bone down into the mat. Take your fingertips as wide as your yoga mat, even wider, and then prop your fingers up like a little tense. On an inhale, we're gonna roll our chest up, and then exhale to reach the heart forward as you pull your shoulder blades back and together. Again, inhale, lift, find length, keep pressing into the tops of the feet, and exhale to shine your heart forward, like it's about to bust out of your chest, alien style. One more time, inhale, lift up, and exhale, sink it forward, come all the way back down, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, bend your knees, sink your hips back to your heels, and then back up to the sky, we'll come back into that downward facing dog. We're just here for a little second. And then slowly start to walk your feet all the way back to the top of your mat. Bend your knees and find your Uttanasana forward fold at the top of the mat. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> Again, let your head be heavy. 
and then start to walk your feet out to the sides. Let your toes spill over the edges of your yoga mat. Bend your knees, sink deeply into your hips and come into Malasana or Yogi Squat Pose. So the traditional Malasana pose looks something like this with your hands together at your heart and your chest is lifted and your elbows press into your knees. But because we're moving organically and weirdly and all fun things from the internet today, we're gonna release the fingertips down to the mat and channel our inner, I like to think of it as like a chimp that wants to start a fight. So just start to move like a chimp starting a fight or whatever other image comes to your mind when you pull a bit of this action. Just moving from side to side. You can really get into it if you want to. This is sort of enough for me right now. Getting some juice flowing in those hips. Yeah. Beautiful. Take another few rounds. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. But it is important to smile when we're being silly. <laughs> All right, come back to center. Maybe find your very serious malasana for one second. <laughs> and then exhale, take your hands behind you and kaplonk your butt down on the mat. I'm going to come to face this way. Adjust all the things. All right, so keep your knees bent and your feet hip distance apart. Toes are pointing forward. Take your hands behind your bum with your fingertips pointing forward and then roll your shoulders back and begin to lift your heart forward. So again, we're really kind of pumping that heart forward like it wants to bust out of our chest. And from here, we're gonna come into one of the worst yoga moves. If you guys have done my videos or my classes before, you know I don't love this one, but it is good to open your shoulders. So when you're ready, on an inhale, press into your hands, press into your big toes, and lift your hips up high, come into a reverse tabletop. Roll your shoulders back. You can either look in between your thighs or look up to the sky. Just try not to look behind you and throw your neck all the way back. Nice, another breath in. Can you lift a little bit higher? Roll those shoulders back, big opening through the fronts of the shoulders. And exhale, slowly bring your hips back down, send your legs out long. Maybe give them a little shake, shake out your wrists. And now we're here in Dandasana. So walk your butt meat out of the way. So you feel like you're really sitting on your sit bones here. Flex your left toes towards your face and then hug your right knee in towards your body. Give a kiss, Mwah. why not? Hey knee. All right, from here we're gonna wrap our left arm around our right leg like we love it. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky, find lots of space through your right side and then exhale to take it into a twist. So maybe you look over your left shoulder. If that's too much for your neck, you can just look forwards, no problem. Take a full deep breath in as you find all this space between each vertebrae of your spine. And then exhale, draw your belly in to create some space to move into your twist. And that's how it works. Inhale, we find length. And exhale, we move a little bit deeper. Nice, slowly bring yourself back to center you can give your legs some more love and then send it out keep the foot active so keep flexing your right toes towards your face as you bring your left knee in kisses because like it messes with my OCD if I do one side and not the other right <laughs> okay so we've got our left knee in we're still sitting up nice and tall you can really feel the bones of your bum on the mat here Hug your left knee in towards you with your right arm. Inhale, left arm goes up to the sky. Find lots of space through your left side and exhale to move into your twist. Try to keep your left hand close to your sacrum or close to your lower back. And again, inhale as you feel each vertebrae lift up, up, up. So you're really lengthening through the spine. You might even tuck your chin in slightly so that length even goes all the way up your neck to the base of your skull and then use your exhale to twist a little bit deeper. Choose to look over your shoulder if that doesn't aggravate your neck or you can just look forward. 
One more full breath in here. And exhale to make our way back to center. Thank you, left leg. Send it out. Give him a shake. And then come into a comfortable seat of your choice. Preferably on the floor while you're still here before you have to go back to your desk <coughs> sofa. Sure. <laughs> Sit up nice and tall. Roll your shoulders up to your ears and then exhale, send them down your spine. My co-workers have deserted me. They're on their lunch break. <laughs> Bring your hands together at your heart. Inhale to sit up tall one last time. And exhale to bow your chin to your chest. Nice. Inhale, lift your chin, open your eyes. Thanks so much for sharing that practice with me today. If you like that video, please subscribe to the channel. It really supports me and bringing free yoga to the community. So all you need to do is click this button. I'm pretty sure it's here or here. <laughs> somewhere and you'll make me eternally grateful all right guys take good care namaste